I know one of the easiest, simplest, and most powerful ways of selling your products and services as a coach, consultant, speaker, trainer, business owner, entrepreneur, somebody like me and you, without having to appear sleazy, use any manipulation or foot in the door techniques. And I'm going to share it with you now. Hi there, my name is Peter. I don't know why I'm holding this knife. Well, I do know actually, and I'll explain in a moment or two. My name is Peter Thompson. Over the last 27 years, I've been helping people like me and you, coaches, consultants, speakers, and trainers to build for themselves a business and a life of choice by making sure that their marketing is bringing loads of leads into the top of their marketing funnel and that those leads are getting converted into long-term, high-paying clients who are delighted with the products and services they're receiving. So today, I'd like to talk about knives and I'd like to talk about tomatoes. And I'm just gonna, oh, look how easily that goes through there. I wonder if it would balance on there if I turned it around. Yes, it does indeed. It was in 1978 that Arthur woke up at three o'clock in the morning and went, Eureka, I have got it. The author in question was Arthur Schiff. And he worked as a copywriter in an advertising agency in Rhode Island in the USA. And he came up with this idea that really changed the way that products and services were sold. Together with, and I've got their names here, make sure I get these right. Together with Barry Beecher and Ed Valenti, Arthur came up with the Miracle Painter. And they started to sell it using what was then called long form TV adverts, later known as infomercials. Let me show you the infomercial for The Magic Painter. This man is painting a swirl ceiling in a tuxedo. There's no drip, no spray, no splatter. He's using the amazing Miracle Painter, the house painting marvel that makes rollers old fashioned and brushes obsolete. Now you can tackle any paint job at all and get professional results with an ease you never dreamed possible. See how ineffective the brush is on this rough pebble finish? Now The Miracle Painter. Total coverage, no sweat, no strain, one coat speedily covers all. You paint an average size room and so as you can see, really clever idea. There is the guy in his tuxedo painting the ceiling. If ever there was going to be a dangerous situation in the sense of paint drops, that would be the time, wouldn't it? You've got something above your head, there's paint dripping off it, and you're wearing your best clothes. That was the idea of that infomercial. The eureka moment that Arthur had was with regard to another product of theirs, which was a knife. Now, the knife, which was made in Ohio, was originally called the Quick Cut Knife. But the eureka moment was the name change of the knife from Quick Cut to Ginsu. Let me show you the advert. In Japan, the hand can be used like a knife. But this method doesn't work with a tomato. That's why we use the Ginsu. It's a knife that no kitchen should be without. The Ginsu can cut a slice of bread so thin you can almost see through it. It cuts meat better than an electric knife and goes through frozen food as though it were melted butter. The Ginsu is so sharp it can cut through a tin can and still slice a tomato like this. It can chop wood and still remain razor sharp. What's more, it's a knife that will last forever. How much would you pay for a knife like this? Before you answer, listen. It even comes with a matching fork to make carving a pleasure. Wait, there's much, much more. Well, wasn't that fantastic? And of course, using the Japanese exchange student as the chef in that particular part of, to do the demonstration, having the knife, having the tomato, the bit with the hand smashing the tomato, and then the knife very carefully and easily being able to, I've got oh, drips going on all over the place here, being able to slice the tomato, the bread slicing, the wood chopping, the the cutting through the can, all of those things with these particular, and the Magic Painter as well. They were the perfect demonstration of what I want to talk about today. And in fact, that is the word. The word is demonstration. Whenever we can demonstrate rather than present our idea, it is so much more powerful. A presentation tends to be generic, general ideas and thoughts, whereas a demonstration becomes specific. It uses the client's ideas, the client's numbers, the client's thinking in order to make the demonstration come to life. It lives in the same place that the client lives by demonstrating how we either solve one of their problems, the problem being in this case to cut thin slices of tomato, or how to capitalize on an opportunity. 
And the way that we can do that is by careful questioning to find out what are the factors that are involved for the client in either the problem or the opportunity, and then demonstrating our ideas. One of my ideas, which I'm sure you've heard me talk about before, is the magic matrix. And I've lost track of the times that I have sat in, in pubs, in clubs, in restaurants, in, I was going to say bars, but I'm not really a bar attendee, in clients' offices, in motorway service stations, in places across the world with a piece of paper, sometimes even a napkin and a borrowed pen. And I've demonstrated the magic matrix using the client's information to bring it to life. And always, is that too strong, Peter? No, and always got that sale. I would absolutely urge you to think carefully, how can you possibly demonstrate what it is that you do? Now, if you're a coach and you want to demonstrate your coaching expertise, then a coaching session for that particular client. That may not be a whole hour's coaching session or a day or whatever it might be, but it might be a 15 minute coaching session where you actually demonstrate what it is that you do. And you demonstrate it without holding anything back. You don't think, oh, well, I'll only do this. But no, you do your, your best thing for that client in that demonstration. If you were a speaker, you could give part of a speech so the client would understand the power of your ideas and how it would call people into action. Whatever you can do in order to demonstrate rather than present. And remember, a demonstration is specific to the client and either their problem or their opportunity, rather than a generic or general presentation of ideas. It makes it specific. That's what makes that demonstration come to life. If you've got any questions about this, want to ask me anything about it, and I've been using demonstrations for years, please just pop them down there and I'll gladly get involved in the conversation. I do know if you take this idea away and you get hold of your particular knife and your particular tomato. Let me see if I can carefully, oh, that's not too bad in the air, is it? So reasonably sharp. Um, if you can take your knife and your tomato and do more demonstrations, you will find that it is the simplest, the easiest, and the most powerful way of selling what it is that you have to offer to the marketplace. I continue to wish you every success in all your adventures in life. Yes, you freedom from anything that may have held you back and freedom to be, do and have whatever you set your heart and mind upon. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. Then click to watch the next video. Remember to visit our website at peterthompson.com and download your free copy of my latest book, How to Write Your Business Book in Five Days or Less. Until next time, every success.